Hi, my name is Jacob Bakovsky and I am a support engineer here at GoEngineer. And today we're going to learn how to quickly assemble this bookshelf using the copy with mates function. What is copy with mates? Well, copy with mates allows us to quickly assemble the shelf piece into the bookshelf uh, without having to place each one of these mates in one by one. I can just copy them. In order to begin, we have to establish the first mate, right? So we have to get this shelf piece in here and mate it. Select my edge, coincident mate, coincident, and I'm going to have a distance mate here. I have a 10 inch spacing. Excellent. I notice that I have no, I do not have any um, minus signs next to my shelf, and, and that means that I am fully defined. So we've established the first mate. Now we're going to use the copy with mates to create the rest of the shelf. So I'm going to click the drop down under insert components and go copy with mates. I need to select the component in which I'm copying. I've already I'm going to select my shelf piece because I know that I want to repeat its mates. So then I select the component, it highlights blue, and shows up in my um, text box over here, my field. So I'm going to hit next on the wizard. So I can select a new reference for each mate. It's showing the existing mate in orange, and the purple is the one that I need to uh, recreate, right? So. In this case, I do want to, I have the option, I can repeat the two coincident mates that I have here. So you can see that it's highlighted. So I can repeat this mate. And a ghost, a transparent image of the shelf piece appears at the top here. Now I know I also want to repeat this back mate, this coincident mate to the back of the shelf as well. So I'm going to hit repeat mate. And now it's asking for my distance mate. And let's just use, let's just select the purple at, the purple face here at the top as our next, uh, to establish the mate. But we know we want to go 20 inches from the top. Hit the green check to accept. And now a new one appears. And you can see that it's already repeated the two mates that I've already created. I can toggle them on and off at any time. And if I like to, I can also repeat the distance mate. But this time I want it at 35. Not at 30. I want, you know, I want 15 inches of spacing between that middle shelf. I'm going to put a little bit more in there. Hit the green check to accept. So now I'm just going to use copy with mates to complete the rest of this model. Uh, say OK. And we'll go 60. All right, and hit the green check when you're done, and exit. So I work for a furniture maker. I got to make another table today too, but I can quickly make that before lunch. Uh, I'm going to insert components. I need to insert the table legs. Hit the green check. Now it's floating in space. And I want to establish my first mate. So once again, I'm going to use my quick mate. Coincident, coincident, and coincident is now fully defined. Cannot move it. Now, I, now in this case, I can also right-click table legs here, and I see copy with mates. So I can easily grab the feature that I want to copy and copy with mates. And notice that if I select the component in the feature tree, it already highlights, it already knows what component that I want to copy. So I'm going to hit next on the wizard. So now the first mate between the top, the top of the leg and the bottom of the table, I'm going to repeat. However, the next two, I'm going to change the order. I'm going to make this the new second mate and mate these two coincident. And now I'm going to mate this edge. And that satisfies this next leg. So for the next mate, the software already knows that we want to repeat the top of the 
leg in the bottom of the table. Um, but the the next two, we're gonna choose just a different, some different edges here. I'm gonna select this side edge here, line up these sides, and I'll select the opposite edge, and that completes this next leg. Hit the green check. It remembers I want to repeat that one again. I'm gonna choose this two legs here and complete complete my table. Once again, my name is Jacob Bakowski. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.